backwards. There we go. You know, I, I feel weird because I'm not on the other side of the camera where I'm fixing my hair. And Hey guys, how's it going? Bayzad here. Another live stream. Uh, a little bit late today, but you know, better late than never. I've just been uh, a little bit busy. Busy. We're preparing a small little weekend sale on Tati and Yoko. So there's been a couple of new markdowns and uh, there's going to be a, a flash sale on a couple of uh, styles of jeans. So watch out for that email. I think it's going out in a few minutes. So check your email boxes uh, for that. Aside from that, uh, it's been a pretty interesting week here at Naked and Famous Denim. Um, of course, we're still showing the fall winter. How's the room population? 39. 39, okay. Uh, oh yeah, also, just maybe before I get into that, uh, I've got a cameraman. Uh, so Garrett, is, uh, Garrett, our, our, our Taxi Yoko store manager, is kindly uh, being the cameraman in this situation. And what we're doing, at least what we're testing out is, we're gonna be doing a live stream recording and we're doing a separate recording at the same time uh, with his iPhone uh, so that I can get a horizontal uh, uh, video going that we can upload to YouTube in a better quality than what the live stream like saved file is going to be like so we'll see how that goes and I, I suspect it's going to look pretty good um, the only thing is I'm getting used to being in front of the camera instead of being uh, you know in front of the camera reading the comments and questions from you guys so Garrett's going to be my guy uh, you know leading kind of the discussion uh, with what's going on here. And uh, if you guys don't know who Garrett is, you definitely want to tune into the Tati and Yoko Instagram because Garrett's on there. He's doing all kinds of funny videos and uh, showcasing all the, the new products that are coming out, including uh, what I'm wearing today. Uh, these just launched on the website. There's been a couple of like um, quiet launches, uh, including these are the new work pants for men. Uh, you can see it's a double-sided uh, it's a, a tiger camo on the inside. I'll roll that up a little bit more. Sorry, my sneaker is a little bit dirty. It's, uh, it's very wintry out there. Uh, you got the tiger camo on the outside and the leopard print. Uh, tiger camo inside, leopard print on the outside. We had uh, we just launched these a couple of days ago on the website. We just got them in the store and we had these great customers in from Michigan yesterday and uh, they snagged a pair. They look great on them. And uh, I'm a pretty big fan. I mean, you don't have to get something as loud as this. We also have this available in the black. We have it available in brick. We have it available in like a, an army green color. You've got the leopard print and we have the double-sided camo. So uh, you can check out that on the website. And uh, so that's available on tatianyoka.com. And uh, there's a handful of uh, our retail partners that have that as well. So anyways, that's, that's my fit for today. I've got my, uh, my new work pants in the leopard Naked and Famous Denim circular knit t-shirt. I've been wearing probably this particular one for a couple of years now. Great, I love this t-shirt because you can wash it a thousand times and really nothing happens to it. I, 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 I often find with other t-shirts that are a little bit thinner, you kind of get all these holes happening around here, you know, usually where your belt action is happening. Uh, but with this, I have really no issues, um, so. If you haven't tried one of our t-shirts yet, I would highly recommend them. Uh, circular knit, seamless, and uh, ring spun cotton, and available in a multitude of colors, and pocket tees. Questions? Questions. Uh, can you show off the duck down kimono today? Duck down kimono? Do we have one of those? Duck down kimono? Oh, the, the, the one that we have in the store. Um, I don't, I can't because we, we closed the store, it's after hours right now. Um, but Garrett could probably show it to you. Uh, so reach out to Garrett on the Tatian Yoga Instagram and he can show that to you. I'm assuming that's, it's, it's the, uh, the down kimono jackets. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, so yeah, I, I can't show that right now because I don't have it here. Uh, it is in the store. Uh, so yeah, check in with Tatian Yoko Instagram and Garrett will show it to you on, uh, on Monday. We did. Actually, if you go on the website right now, we I just put that on sale. So uh, there's only, I think there's three pieces left. So you might want to uh, act quickly on that one. I know that there's an Instagram post on the Tati and Yoko uh, Instagram. Um, maybe, so scroll down in there. I, I know I posted it before. So it's a great layering piece. Uh, and anyway, if, if you're interested in seeing it right now, you can, you can check out the old Instagram post. Do those pants come in black? These pants do come in black. They also come in, um, I have the ladies ones here. Um, so they come in black, so I mean, you can imagine that. They also come in an army green and this brick 
color as well. This is the woman's version. These are also available right now. Um, and uh, so yeah, we have them for both uh, the guys and the girls. Oh, Risa has the black. She's, come on in, Risa. <coughs> the black one with the metal black button and then the brick with the brass button metal. What, you, what jeans are you wearing today, Risa? I am wearing the brand new uh, Vulgar 2 Salvage in Classic Fit right now. So the one of the perks of working for Naked of Things is to get the new collection uh, and get to wear them. But uh, yeah, this one is what we're trying to uh, book for next season, fall, winter 20. So this won't come out for another six, six eight months. months. Yeah. So these will be launching like August, September probably. Maybe right. even as early as July. I don't know, we haven't figured out the production schedule yet. Uh, yeah, and I really like how like the wide leg. Yeah. So tell us about the classic fit, because we don't actually talk about the ladies on the live stream so often. Mm -hmm. So the classic fit is the high rise. It's very high. It actually sits on your waist um, with like kind of like a looser, wider, straight fit. So like it's the, the white uh, leg opening is pretty wide as you can see. And it's just kind of like a straight fit. So it's it, like inspired by the, like these old school like women's jeans. But the bit, like the, the, the thing I really like about classic fit is that First of all, our pockets are huge. Like I can put all my whole hands in there and then my back pockets are pretty good. Um, also, we can actually do a lot of 100% cotton, like really rigid raw denim in this bed because you don't, you don't have to really like squeeze yourself in and like be tight all day. So I can just be comfortable in this. This one is 12 and a half ounce, 100% cotton. And rigid. Just, yeah, rigid, no wash. It's, very comfortable still so yeah that's awesome uh so the classic fit there's also the max fit which mm -hmm. is very similar to this could, could you uh, yeah tell the people max about fit that one? is like the the same kind of high rise with big pockets and everything like that and uh it's got a slim tapered fit so it's not skinny in a way that like it doesn't like cling to your leg like it's not skin tight but it is slim tapered with a very small leg opening. So if you're one of those like people who just want like to show off your, you know, shoes or just have a very, you know, slim um, leg. leg, that's that's just kind of like the fit. But it's still not like tight. So you can again like we can we make a lot of hundred percent cotton options in that fit and a lot of raw like rigid options. So, yeah, that's, uh, I like to call the, the max fit like the ladies version of the easy guy Right, yeah. it has a very sharp taper. The leg opening is pretty small. I don't know if we have any right Hey, Bezad, what's your cap? My cap? Yeah. Oh, this is the uh, Japan, Japan Heritage five panel cap uh, of the naked famous one. So these ones are all made in Japan I have the sample one which the, the only I guess difference between the one I have and the production ones are that the production ones have the Made in Japan logo uh, embroidered uh, instead of the Naked and Famous English text logo. So, uh, yeah. Would you make a, a jacket with this? People are asking for this pants material like in a jacket. For the, which pants? Oh, these. Yeah, I really want to do a leopard jacket. It'll probably happen next spring. Um, so yeah, you can expect a leopard Probably like in the uh, in our denim jacket, a leopard version of that. I think that would be pretty cool. Or more nice. patterned denim jackets. We haven't done one of those in a while. Yeah, that would be really nice. And any release date for the Sakiori pants? <coughs> um, um, I think that's like later, so like March, sometime in March, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know, I keep waiting, like, I should know by now, but my production schedule keeps Changing yeah, a well, little it's bit. on there. Though. Yeah, I, I, I think it's gonna be sometime in March. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Um, vulgar salvage jacket. Yes. yes. So that is coming, and that is part of the fall uh, winter twenty collection. You can see it here. So you know, classic rigid denim uh, on the well, I mean, on the outside, of course, uh, and then on the inside, it will have. 
the uh, naughty words uh, on the selvage edge. Uh, there's a little bit of a mistake on the uh, sample. Uh, you can see that they stitched through the text. That, that'll that be taken care of. It'll, it'll get stitched like right above here for production, so you won't see that stitching through the text. And uh, we are changing it. So it'll only say hell yeah and fuck no. So we were trying to just, when we made the sampling here, we were kind of trying to determine what we want the final uh, product to say. So it'll say hell yeah, fuck no. So on the sample you can see it says hell yeah, fuck yeah, hell no, fuck no. So uh, it'll be something like, uh... anyways, I, I, I can't figure it out right now, but uh, <laughs> that's what's gonna be happening for the Vulgar 2 jacket. And the other difference between the original Vulgar and the new Vulgar is uh, the leather patch, instead of being a pigskin, it is a pull-up leather uh, brown that you can see here. You can, I, I find that you can actually see the graphic a little bit better on this leather. Uh, do you have a Toxic Avenger to show? Yes! So I wanted to show that off today. Uh, let me get that from the back. Just uh, hang on a second. Are you sure it's not in your office? No, that's the uh, that's the sample jacket that didn't have the, uh, the it wasn't the right fabric, but it had the embroidery. Um, I have the jacket, but not the embroidery. Oh no. Anyways, I can show this one off. Oh, and to I answer your question, have you had a chance to make an MIJ banner jacket yet? Uh, the answer is no, uh, but it is coming. We just got the MIJ banners in and those should be on the website soon, if they're not already on the website. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I checked all of it. So that's the new Toxic Avenger denim. This is coming out February 15th. So basically two weeks from now, uh, I, I've been talking about this scene a lot and if you haven't watched the movie yet, I really encourage you guys to go and check it out. It is. Probably, it's definitely in my top five movies of all time. I tend to like this style of movie. Uh, funny, horror, action, it really has it all. Uh, and uh, trauma films in general, if you're not familiar with them, they really make these crazy, insane videos uh, that are, you know, they're not, they're not highbrow, uh, but you can certainly appreciate all of the production uh, that goes into these films because they are, they are not high budget by any means and they are able to achieve a lot with a little and a lot of gruesomeness at the same time. And the Toxic Avenger is their, is their I guess their, is, is flagship the right word, uh, uh, product. Um, it is their, their, their mascot, I would say. And uh, so for the Toxic Avenger jeans, uh, we have the triple alternating twill denim, left hand twill, right hand twill, broken twill, made with organic cotton, so that is to represent the kind of uh, environmental part. You know, the Toxic Avenger in a, in a way is an environmentalist movie. Um, I'm gonna put on the jacket. Uh, it, is, it is a uh, commentary on, uh, on pollution. And for a lot of people don't know, well, I, I would imagine Toxic Avenger fans would know uh, that they made a series a uh, cartoon series when I, when I was a kid in the early 90s called The Toxic Crusaders. It was similar to the Ninja Turtles, um, but uh, they, were fighting, uh, they were fighting other mutants and bad guys, and uh, it had a more of an environmental theme at the same time. So for the Toxic Avenger denim, you can actually see that there is an inspiration from the Toxic Crusaders right in the logo here. Uh, you can see that we have the dual branded logo, Toxic Avenger, Naked and Famous Denim, uh, and you can get a good view of it in here as well. And uh, the Naked and Famous Denim portion of the logo is made in the Toxic Crusaders style uh, of logo. So we, we melted or melded those two logos together. So um, uh, you've got, bags. oh yeah, well let's go through all the details. So you have the leather patch, that's the, uh, it's a uh, Toxy here uh, in kind of a, a, a gruesome pose. It is a, uh, it, it comes from uh, the Marvel Comics 
uh, toxic Avenger series. So that's where that image comes from. And uh, on the inside of the denim, you'll, you'll also notice the uh, pink pocket bags that we have. Pink because Toxie wears a pink tutu. It is part of his, uh, his, his I guess, uniform. Uh, and if you watch the film, you'll understand why uh, he's wearing pink. And he goes back to Tromaville Gym here to uh, seek out revenge on, on some of the guys who uh, mistreated him uh, when he was uh, simple Melvin. Um, so I, I don't want to give too much of the story away uh, if you haven't watched the film. Uh, I, I, like I said, uh, I would recommend you, uh, you go and check that out. And once you do, you know, you'll really start to appreciate some more of the details in this jean. So we do have that triple alternating twill, left hand twill, right hand twill, broken twill with the uh, green cast uh, uh, or the, the, you know, uh, on the inside, uh, the pink pocket bags with the uh, uh, comic book pocket. And then we also have the, uh, the I've been traumatized uh, advert on the inside as well, which you will see on the chenille embroidered denim jacket. So uh, if you, you know, we do have two options for you in the Toxic Avenger collection. You do get the, uh, the jeans, which are available in all of our fits, super weird and easy guy. And then you have the, uh, the denim jacket that I'm wearing right now in our classic, uh, you know, classic style denim jacket. Comes with the pockets. Um, inside is pretty clean. Um, you've got the embroidery of Toxie on the front here, and then you have the chenille embroidery on the back. I've been traumatized. So, you know, I think that <coughs> for like trauma fans out there, this is going to be a really popular item. I have already taken this jacket myself. Uh, I mean, I do get privileges uh, while working here. So uh, I do enjoy wearing this one a lot, and I've been getting a lot of looks. Um, and uh, for those Troma fans out there, I mean, this is certainly a great way to represent your love of Troma and the Toxic Avenger. And this will be available September, no, sorry, February uh, the 15th. And uh, also, take a look at that hollow foil pocket flasher. Uh, you've got Toxie, you've got his girlfriend, you've got America, you've got a machine gun, you've got Japan in the background. Uh, you really have it all. It's a, a hideously deformed denim or jean of super denim size and strength. You know, just like Melvin, he was a hideous, or, or, or the Toxic Avenger was a, a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. And also, we, uh, just as a bonus, um, because we've been in contact with Troma the last couple of days over just, you know, some, some details, uh, we're going to have some giveaways uh, to go with the release of the, of the jean. So expect to see some announcements regarding that soon. So, well, anyways, I can tell you a little bit about it. So we're gonna have some posters, we're gonna have some movies, uh, some autograph stuff from Troma. So again, if you're a Troma fan or you're about to become a Troma fan because you're gonna watch some of those Troma films uh, this weekend, as I would highly recommend, um, you, you, you're gonna have an opportunity to get some uh, Troma memorabilia at the same time. So. Uh, that is the Toxic Avenger collection. It's a smaller collection than some of the other uh, products that we've put out there, but it is personally for me, uh, it's, it's, it's one of these things that I've always wanted to do and uh, it, it's, it's, it's my baby. I mean, they're, they're all my babies, but I'm, I'm a bit of a movie nerd and I'm a bit of a trash movie nerd and uh, the Toxic Avenger is, of, of trash films, definitely my favorite. So uh, that's why this collection exists and uh, for those uh, Choma fans like myself, and monster movie fans. Cool. Uh, do you have any plans to do a type two jacket? Two people are asking. No. Uh, short answer is no. Um, and I, I, I've been over this topic a few times, but uh, you know, I'm always happy to answer. Um, I think the reason why we don't do a type two is because there is a niche of customers who like type twos and get it, but the general consumer, if it doesn't look like this, the classic kind of trucker jacket style that we do, it doesn't appeal to them. So I don't know if we can make as, you know, we have to make a certain amount of product for us to go into production. So if the fan base for something like that were to, were to increase, then it's something that we would consider down the line. But I think that it is still pretty niche. Um, as you know, you look at, and a lot of brands offer uh, type, uh, type two jackets. And you know, when you go down the street, it's pretty rare uh, that you'll encounter somebody who's wearing one. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. How bright will the blue cores be? 
bright. They'll be very bright. It's, they're, they're designed to be bright blue. I mean, we've got the green cores right here on the wall. I ha we have that fabric uh, uh, you know, sample in the store, um, but they will be quite bright, similar to this brightness that you're going to see here in the green. Um, I have a red core in the New York store. Um, I probably posted pictures of it on the Instagram, and you'll see that that's a very, very bright red uh, as well. So it will not be a subtle gene. It will be a dark indigo gene that gets bright blue. So if you're into that you know, wild style of fading jeans, then these are certainly a gene for you. If you're looking for something that is you know, more classic in tone, these ones, uh, they're not going to be classic. Okay, average SMO. I see an overcoat. Will you do a release <coughs> suit or some similar style suit? I think he's talking about this one. This is the woman's overcoat. Um, I would like to do a suit again. We did that one for the fall and it was pretty successful. Uh, I wore it to uh, uh, my sister-in-law's wedding. I, I had a great time wearing that one. Um, we don't have any suits planned for fall uh, 20. Maybe we'll do something again down the line. Um, I would... I would like to see us do more of that kind of thing. We do have the chore coat coming out, which is uh, the fall winter 20 item right here. So this is gonna be available in many different fabric options. Um, this is the basket weave sashiko. So, uh, you know, it's not quite a suit, but it goes well with jeans. Okay, maybe for raw denim jeans, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab? Yeah, I mean, that would, be, that would be a lot of fun as well. I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan. I was actually uh, watching uh, Ninja Turtles last night, uh, the animated series, uh, with my wife, uh, because she'd never watched it before. She was familiar with the franchise, she'd never watched it before, so I was like, we have to watch Ninja Turtles. Uh, so we, we watched some Ninja Turtles last night. Okay, um, Avengers jeans, how much will they go for? The Toxic Avenger jeans? Um, Risa, yeah. what are the retails on the Toxic Avenger jeans and jean jacket? We're going to double check that for you. 232? 232 on the jeans. Uh, well, Alright. Yeah. We're double checking. Uh, Street Fighter Round 4. If so, which characters? <sighs> If I could fantasy book Street Fighter Round 4, uh, because there are no plans for a Street Fighter Round 4, but if I could fantasy book Street Fighter Round 4, who would it be? Um, I don't know. That, that is a good question. I mean, I would probably um, re-release the Akuma because that would make a lot of people happy. Um, it is... If you have a pair of Akumas that have been... that are unworn, I'm pretty confident that you could sell those on eBay for a lot of money right now because there's a lot of people who want it. Um, you know, we keep track of, you know, the requests that our customers make for, you know, items to come back and by far the number one product to re-release is the Akuma. And there is no plan to re-release the Akuma. Um, so if you do have a pair, it is a very rare and sought after pair. Um, so I would maybe do that or, or a different rendition of Akuma. That could be fun. Um, if we're just thinking Street Fighter 2 world, you know, Ultra Street Fighter 2 came out and uh, there was that Evil Ken, uh, so maybe I would do that because that could be kind of fun. Um, I, would, I would try to figure out Sagat. I would try to figure out Balrog. Any Mortal Kombat news? Yeah, that it's coming. 449 on the chenille embroidered jacket, uh, the Toxic Avenger one. 449. So it does come with that chenille embroidery, uh, which is quite expensive, but uh, it does make a, it does make a lot of impact. Uh, so for Mortal Kombat, um, yeah, prepare yourself because it is coming. Um, <clears throat> I can't tell you what season yet, but it is it is coming, and uh, but you know what I can tell you. Uh, is that because I made a little uh, if you're if you're not I mean uh, I'm kind of everywhere you know I'm here on, 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 on Instagram with you guys every week at least I try to be um, and I'm on reddit often I'm on discord here and there it's kind of I, I haven't been there in a while but there's a raw denim discord if you guys are interested in joining that one I would recommend it you can talk with a lot of like-minded uh, denim folks um, 
but uh, we're going to Gotham in, for holiday 20, uh, if that means much to any of you guys. So uh, right now, Brandon and I are, and Risa, we're, we're putting together that collection. Uh, we're putting together all of our ideas, but uh, we're going to Gotham very soon, and we're going to bring you uh, the characters from uh, the Batman world. Uh, so I hope you guys are excited for that one because I've been, uh, l my life has been a lot of Batman lately. And I, you know, growing up, of course, I watched a lot of Batman. Uh, who didn't? Um, you know, from the Adam West 1960s series, Batman animated series, uh, all the Batman movies, of course, Batman comic books, um, Frank Miller, Tom McFarlane, like, you know, th I think growing up, comic books were, uh, I, we're, I, I'm, I wonder, I mean, I was a big nerd. I still am a big nerd. I'm just, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay. Um, Anyways, a lot of Batman, working on it, and uh, you guys can fantasy book that one um, because it's coming, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys more details as uh, we progress through the development of the collection. Okay, we got two more people that are stoked on type twos. One guy said, would you consider an individual order style run of type two in the same way you'll do a low run of banner jackets? No. And the reason for that is with the banner jacket, the pattern I have is already developed. So there's no, there's not much in terms of development cost for that, but to develop a new fit, it takes time. And if I'm only going to sell 12 or 20 jackets, it's just, if, if, I, if I had to build that development cost into selling 20 jackets, it's not worth it for you as the consumer. I have to sell a decent amount of those jackets for that development cost to be worth the time. Are we seeing 40 ounce this year? Yes. I'm confident to say that 40 ounces will be available this year. How many 40 ounce pairs? will be very low, very low, <laughs> but I'm confident to say that at least we will have a 40 ounce pair made and probably have a couple sold this year. Okay, will the DC collab have color weft with stretch like the Dragon Ball Z street collab? Um, we do plan on having colored weft and stretch as one of the, uh, one of the products available in that collab. Okay. Uh, That's our plan. You know what I mean? There, there's a lot of approvals and things that need to go on. Though I don't think that they're going to um, deny us on a stretch fabric. Um, in fact, uh, anyways, the way we're planning everything, we, we have a call scheduled with the, uh, with the team uh, just to go over our ideas. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're sampling fabric right now, so... Um, they, I want to, I want to, anyways, I, as we progress, I'm going to keep you guys as updated as I possibly can. Uh, okay. Make the Batman 21 ounce jeans with this yeah. symbol. Um, sure. Uh, I, you know, of course, you know, the, the, the cat is out of the bag or, or the bat is out of the bag. Um, <laughs> uh, so I look forward to hearing a lot of your ideas, you know, and I, in, in fact, one of the things I do enjoy a lot is, you know, this this fantasy booking that we're doing these fantasy styles that we're creating because it allows all of us to be more creative in a, in a way that you know is outside of the classic raw denim uh box you know a lot of people are in that mindset of you know raw denim has to be this way and authentic and i'm like no nah, man we're gonna make jeans and denim fabric based off of comic book and movie characters so uh whether or not it's it's a it's a property that we are personally working with or not you know, it, it gives you a chance to, you know, think about the opportunities and what, what would a fabric be if it was based off of, you know, that character. Um, and I, I have a whole list uh, that, I, that, I, that I have uh, where whenever I get a good idea, I write it down, uh, you know, whether or not we're going to actually pursue that uh, property or not. But uh, I mean, it, it's always fun to listen to your ideas as well. Uh, okay. One question. What is a type two? A type two. So, um, it is a uh, shorter denim jacket with two flat pockets and, uh, pleats along the front. So it is a, a vintage style 
of denim jacket that was popular. I don't, you know, a date range is gonna mid century. Right? Yeah, mid century. It, it's gonna, it's, it's going to. Uh, I'm not great with my 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 dates when it comes to, uh, you know, dating when and the eras of of particular garments, but um, you original like when they talk about type one, it's the, the same silhouette basically, but with one pocket. The type two has two pockets, and then the modern jacket, like the trucker jacket. Uh, that they uh, is often referred to as a type three. Cool. Uh, any plans to officially release your collections in Europe? Customs are a pain. We do have our collections available all throughout Europe. It certainly depends on where you're from in Europe. If you go to our store locator on our website, you can find the closest retailer near you. Customs is a pain, yes, um, but one benefit is that all of our products are made right here in Canada, at least all of our Naked and Famous Denim products outside of the Naked and Famous Denim Japan. I'm speaking very fast. If you need me to slow down, let me know. Um, so Naked and Famous Denim, all of our products are made right here in Canada, and because there is a free trade agreement between Canada and the EU zone, all of our products ship to the EU duty-free. But that doesn't mean, and some people do get confused by this, that doesn't mean it's tax-free, because duties is, is a, is a form of tax, but it is not like sales tax. So um, there's a sales tax based off of the value of the garment uh, that you still must pay. And then there's usually, depending on the carrier, um, a processing fee because that carrier has to do the customs clearance, pay that tax over to the government, and then ship it to you and then collect that tax money from you. So for doing that, they usually have a small fee attached to that. So while there are some fees, the same fees apply to retailers when they import our products to their, to their store. So the difference is that they build those fees into the price of the product. Um, so you're still paying it, whether or not you, uh, you buy it in the store in Europe or if you're buying it from a, a retailer outside of Europe, um, those fees are always going to be paid. So they are a pain in the butt because you get this extra bill from you know, the carrier uh, at some point, but it is something that you would be paying regardless. You're by far my favorite company, both by product and style personality. What are your favorite companies or creators? Who do you look up to? Um, who do I look up to? Right now, I would say I, I really enjoy Elon Musk. Um, I like Garrett sent me, his, he, he has an EDM uh, uh, album. Uh, SoundCloud, which I thought was pretty impressive. Uh, you know, I like him. I also have, uh, you know, our, well, you know, uh, I pre-ordered the Cybertruck. I mean, it, it's 150 bucks to do, do that in Japan. So uh, my wife and I have our, our Cybertruck on pre-order, what, whatever, what, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But I do enjoy the way that he's shaking everything up. You know, he doesn't care. He has a vision for a product and he makes it the way he wants to do it. And, you know, w whether it's Cybertruck or, you know, making those high speed, uh, 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 you know, tunnels in Los Angeles or, you know, even with the, 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 the that battery for your home. Um, he's changing the way that we're all thinking about the future. And, you know, even if you think back to like Steve Jobs, iPhone, I remember when I had a Palm Pilot and, you know, I thought I was futuristic with that thing. And, you know, I remember the early days of smartphones before iPhone. And, like, iPhone really, I don't own an iPhone, but I, I do appreciate what it did and how it, how it changed the landscape and, and how a guy like Steve Jobs also was just like, you know what? This is the way I see things, and this is the way I do things. So I do it. And, you know, if you do it the right way and you're doing it in a way that is useful to a consumer, you know, I don't, um, I don't, um, I don't remember anybody really enjoying a Palm Pilot. They, they, they kind of sucked. Um, I used to have one called a Sony Clie, which I thought was pretty cool. It was a giant, like, fold-out one, um, but it, it, it sucked. And I remember getting my first iPhone, the, and I'm like, this thing rules. It was so obvious and simple. So I do enjoy uh, people like that who, who shake things up a lot and do things the way that they want to do it. Okay, will there be a Harley Quinn women's exclusive? <clears throat> no comment. Okay. Uh, can we get an elephant for revenge? 
Um, Elephant Four was the Indigo by Black. It's maybe, maybe. That's all I can say about that. Maybe I do. I do want to see a, uh, like another like Indigo Black Elephant at some point. Uh, Prophet Esco is looking forward to a stacked guy pre-order. Yes. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm off to Vegas next week. Um, then after that, I'm back here in Montreal for two weeks. Uh, then back to Japan, but before then Garrett and myself we're gonna start planning a lot of these things that are gonna you know these smaller projects um, like the uh, the banner jacket um, <coughs> So if you guys were watching last week, uh, you saw this if you weren't watching last week, then you can watch the replay on on YouTube um, but uh, Garrett kind of put this one together and uh, it's pretty awesome. It's just such a, it's so weird and I love it. And uh, I think a lot of people, not a lot, I mean, you know, we're gonna, we're not gonna sell a thousand of these, but uh, we're going to make these available through a pre-order uh, only on Tati and Yoko. Um, so if you, if you want something like this, uh, watch out for our social media uh, announcements. So we're gonna have the, uh, the Tragic Blonde logo here, and then we have the MIJ logo, that's called the Flower of Carnage uh, logo. So we'll have two versions of this jacket. It's our, it's our denim banners, which are kind of our version of that, that vintage uh, uh, denim advertising banner. You might have seen those things. Uh, if you look on eBay, they're, they're very expensive. Uh, but you know, that's the way a lot of old, these old denim companies used to advertise. You know, they take a, a sheet of denim and they would have this, uh, you know, image on it, you know, advertising their product. And we do the same thing with uh, the Naked and Famous denim logos. Uh, and uh, we have them available on Tate and Yoko. Is the MIJ logo available online yet, Garrett? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, the, 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 this Tragic Blonde logo. I don't think so. I, it, we haven't counted the stock yet, but it's coming. Oh, is it, is the Tragic Blonde online yet? I yeah, think, it's online, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is available online right now. The MIJ version will probably be available next week, so watch out for that. But we're going to have two versions of this jacket available. And, uh, like, I was, I've, I've talked about it, this a little bit, uh, in the past where I want to have because I know there's a lot of customers who want, you know, a stack guy version of this fabric or maybe a strong guy version of that fabric. And, you know, it's not enough for us to go full scale production, but if I do it through a pre-order and uh, I can gather enough orders, then, you know, I can make a smaller production for that and, you know, just kind of cut it to order. So that's gonna be the same thing here. We'll do a couple of these, we'll cut them to order and you'll have a very rare and special piece. And uh, so we're gonna have it available in the uh, Tragic Blonde, we'll have it available in the Flower of Carnage MIJ logo. It's all on the, uh, the, the fabric that we use for these banners is the Dirty Fade Selvage. So uh, you guys know that fabric already. And over time, you know, this vinyl print is gonna fade away and crack away and it'll start to reveal that denim color underneath. And over time, that'll start to fade too. And I think, you know, if somebody wears this you know, pretty consistently. You can see a little bit of, you know, already coming through here. Uh, I, I, I would say that if somebody wore this pretty consistently, you know, after a year, you're gonna have a really crusty, I like using that word, crusty, uh, uh, denim jacket. And uh, you'll have like this weird mix of paint and faded denim at the same time. It's gonna look pretty cool. And uh, if, you, if you like loud jackets, then uh, this is definitely one for you. And uh, if you're, you know, uh, a collector of things making the famous denim, this is gonna be one of those jackets to get. Any plan for the King of Neps? Uh, there is a plan for the Dark Lord of Nep. Um, we are working on that, so uh, stay tuned. Any news about the real 24K gold? Yes, so that is coming out not next Friday, uh, no, sorry, it's coming out next Friday. Sorry, today is current Friday. Um, next Friday, February 7th, we've got the real gold denim. Uh, real gold salvage, let me get that for you. I'll show you guys what it's all about. So we'll have the real gold selvage. Check out that leather patch. Natural veg tan with the gold foil. 
And then we've got the 24 karat gold hardware, so the rivets and the buttons. The sample didn't, we, anyway, the samples don't have the right buttons, but the production will have all the gold plated buttons all the way through. All made by YKK USA as well. So this wasn't some like rinky dink, you know, non functional buttons. These are going to be 24 karat gold plated by YKK for us. So fully functional hardware that is, that is made to last with the 18 karat gold yarn right there in the salvage edge. So you're gonna see that on the coin pocket or hidden on the, I think all of them will have exposed coin pocket, I don't remember offhand. And of course, when you cuff that jean, you're gonna be able to show that off and uh, that's real gold for you. So that is the real gold salvage that comes up next Friday. Um, and next Friday is a double release day. You've got the real gold salvage and the friendship denim. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of this jean. It is a, it is a weird jean. I'm a big fan of weird things. You know, I'm wearing leopard pants. We're making, uh, you know, banner jackets. So um, this is designed to be loud and, uh, and proud. I mean, look at the color that comes through on that. It's a dark, dark, dark indigo denim, but that weft is so bright that it just shines right through. You can't stop that rainbow color from coming through. So it will fade like a regular denim, but that color is just gonna burst. Uh, right through and I mean it's, it's loud if you like loud jeans if you want something that's going to get a lot of attention then this is for you check out that weft color on the inside I mean it's going to be a lot of fun it comes in the jeans and it comes in the jean jacket version available for both men's and ladies so uh, rainbow we call it the friendship denim uh, and that's coming out next Friday along with the real gold biker denim stretchy skinny fit question mark um yeah, I mean, our active motion denim is certainly going to, you know, fit the bill for anybody who's looking for uh, a denim that is going to be, you know, made for being active. Cheetah pants look good. Definitely wouldn't wear them myself, but you pull them off. You could pull them off. You'd be surprised. You know, the gentleman who was in the store yesterday, uh, you know, when he put them on, it, tra it kind of transformed him a little bit. Um, you know, he went from, I don't know if I can pull these off to, whoa, I really love these pants. And I mean, that's the kind of thing, you know, sometimes I feel a lot of people stick to uh, what they're comfortable with, but the second you have something kind of out there and weird maybe in your wardrobe, you, you, you start to realize that, you know, you can wear this and you know what, maybe there's a, 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 an aspect of it where you're worried about like, what are people gonna think or, you know, uh, and who cares? I mean, if you enjoy them, that's, that's really the bottom line uh, with anything. So uh, wear what you like and uh, don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Uh, and uh, I think that, you know, anybody can wear these. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I probably would have hesitated to wear something like this, but uh, maybe it's also an age thing. As you get older, you really, you definitely stop caring. Um, I, I, like, when I was younger, everything was slim fit and like, you know, I tried to look like the magazine. Now I'm like, give me loose and comfortable and, you know, weird sometimes. And, uh, and I'm ready to go. Black with yellow core for Batman? No. Uh, I think somebody else was asking me about this the other day. You could do like a black warp with a yellow. Yeah, but colored core on black doesn't work. So far, we haven't been able to figure that out. So like a colored core yarn with a black dye on top, we haven't been able to get that to work. Um, and I think a black with yellow weft would not look so great because you have to consider the grain of the fabric. You know, here, you know, with the Friendship Denim, for example, this is indigo warp. The warp yarns are indigo, but because of that grain, you can see here, the weft shows through. So if you have a black denim, it will be similar to this. And with a bright yellow, you're gonna see that yellow come right through. It's gonna look like yellow pants. Okay. Um, how much for the 24K gold jeans? These are like two... Risa, what's the, uh, the uh, real gold going for? I think it's around 250. Yeah, I think 249. Uh, yeah, 249. 249. So uh, for 249, you could have jeans made from real gold. You know, I do find it interesting because 
every now and then we have to consider kind of like where our price points are at in the market. And I don't often look at other jeans brands, but every now and then you kind of got to do your market research and, you know, cause our aim is always kind of, you know, we don't want to be the cheapest. Our aim isn't to be the cheapest in the store. Our aim is to be the best value in the store. That means we're giving you as much as we possibly can for the best possible price. Of course, there are less expensive jeans than us, but what they're giving you versus what you could get for a little bit more money, you know, you're certainly going to get a lot more, uh, in my opinion, uh, with, with what we're offering. So, uh, yeah, yes, Gary. Are the all conditioned jeans more durable? Are they more durable? Um, they're made with Cordura. Wait, sorry. It, is it Cordura? Yeah, it's Cordura, right, Risa? Uh, Dyneema. Dyneema, sorry. Similar fiber. It's a, it's a, uh, t has a high tensile strength. Um, sorry, the reason why I said Cordura is because we are, we are working on some other stuff with, with Cordura. Um, but Dyneema is a, is a high, uh, uh, high strength type of material, um, high strength to weight ratio. So we are able to make a lightweight denim with this yarn. So it is a more durable, lightweight denim, but it wouldn't be say as durable as a, as a very strong heavyweight denim. So if you want something that's lightweight and durable, great choice. And it has a DWR finish on there as well. So it'll be uh, uh, water repellent uh, in that respect. So it's a great, if you're, if you're into the outdoor scene and you're into uh, you know, ultra lightweight, you know, trying to carry as little with you as possible, it's a great denim option for you. Yeah. Any plans of bringing back the scratch and sniff or rainbow core? Um, rainbow core will probably eventually happen. Um, of course, you could get the friendship denim, which is uh, the the the, uh, the advanced version. Um, scratch and sniff will probably eventually happen again. Um, you know, there are certain things that you know, we we were so known for, and those are two fabrics, for example, that a lot of people remember. And uh, maybe you get into our brand, you know later on but you heard about these things and you know you maybe you, 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 at that point maybe or maybe now you missed your opportunity to get something like that but um i don't want people to not be able to get what they want so certain things like the rainbow core or or the uh scratch and sniff will be things that we i'm sure we'll revisit again at some point any embroidery service no not not presently it's something that we want to offer um we just, well, I don't have a machine presently. Uh, that's not really an issue. We can always get a, uh, a chain stitching machine. It's a matter of training and uh, time. So, um, yeah, that's, that's something I would like to get into. Uh, it just logistically, it's a little difficult right now. My day and night jeans don't fade as beautifully as on your pictures. They remain black and gray and don't fade to blue. Any idea? I just keep wearing them. I mean, that, that's, that's basically um, my answer for, it's hard to compare, you know, one, one person's fades to another fades, um, but keep wearing them and, and don't give up and you'll, and you'll get there. You have 15% battery left. That's okay. We'll, 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 we'll keep running until they kick us off, which I'm assuming is going to be soon because I, there's a one hour limit on these live streams. Uh, until uh, Instagram uh, automatically kicks you off. Is the mask possible to be negotiated with Warner? <clears throat> uh, maybe. Um, maybe. But we, we do have, I have to say that we do have several properties lined up. Uh, and we, have a, we kind of have a roadmap for, uh, for the next you know, few seasons. So um, I think at this point, we're, we're not going to be adding any properties that we don't have on our on our on our roadmap uh any sizing tips for the new naked and famous collab with tenu with tenu denim that's right so we have an unsamphorized denim of course uh oh yeah you know what i mean i that was one thing I, I i definitely wanted to talk about today so um for those of you in in europe who are looking for uh, uh we have a we are stocked again, uh, back again at Tenu Denim, is one of the best denim shops in all of Europe. They're based in Amsterdam. And uh, we just launched a, a new collaboration piece with them. Uh, 
my, my goodness, it's the uh, the free spirit salvage. I, I have some photos on the Instagram stories. You can definitely check that out. It's an unsamphrized denim, so of course, if you are able to try it in person, you want to buy, you want to try on the jeans, find the size that fits you the best, and then when you purchase, you purchase a size up. I don't know if they have measurement charts up at the moment, uh, but if they do, then you know keep that in mind and uh, find the find the jean that fits you the best, and then size up. Did I miss any Wabash pieces? Um, no. We have a like a, a, a Wabash style work shirt coming up this spring, uh, but I don't have it here with me to show you. Tatami kimono. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I think I was thinking about it, but I think that we're, we're gonna stick with the denim jacket and not, and not do the kimono. I think the fabric is a little too rigid for a kimono and uh, it won't drape as nicely as like the Sakiori does. Long staple merino wool and Supima cotton blend jeans. That's not a bad idea. That's, That's a good it. idea. Everyone else is just stoked on their fades and their e-hondas. Oh, really? one guy's looking for e-honda fades. Do we have any e-honda fades? I don't have any e-honda fades. I think I saw somebody on Reddit post the other day some e-honda fades. So you might want to check there. Um, I am actively looking for jeans for our denim wall so that we can showcase more and more fades to you guys as you ask me. So if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a call out there. So if you have a pair of jeans in your collection that uh, you want to trade in, send us an email, uh, info at uh, Nick and Famous Denim or info at Tate and Yoko, and uh, we actually will offer you 20% uh, coupon on your next pair of Nick and Famous jeans uh, for that trade-in, and we'll send you the return label uh, for those jeans so that you know it won't cost you even a penny uh, to send those jeans out our way. So if you have a, you know, a beautifully faded jean, maybe they're retired, maybe they don't fit you anymore, uh, maybe you want to give them an, a second life, we will preserve them forever and showcase them to the Naked and Famous Denim world. Do you have any uh, time frame on the MIJ 7 and 8? Yeah, uh, fall 2020. Um, we're looking at July, August, September, October delivery. How will the 24K fade? Um, I mean, if you were gonna compare it to anything, I would say maybe pretty close to the vulgar. Um, yeah, I would say pretty close to the vulgar denim. Uh, so you can expect something like this, although this one has been faded pretty intensely. Uh, it might take the average person a couple of years to get it to this point. But uh, the guy who wore these is an absolute beast, and I think he did this in like less than a year. Um, it's interesting, you know, because there are certain people, like this gentleman, and uh, we have another gentleman who, uh, you know, who fades in uh, some of our jeans, like these 32 ounces over here. What some people, and I don't know how they do it, but what some people are able to achieve in six or eight months versus what other people are able to achieve, uh, I mean, they, they certainly have, everybody has a different lifestyle, of course, but, uh, you know, they're like the Michael Jordan of, of gene fading. And uh, it's amazing because I, I, it's amazing to see uh, what they're able to do with some of our products. Uh, any chance uh, I can meet you when I come to Tate Nyoko from Paris? Yeah, if I'm in Canada, um, drop by the store and ask for me. I, if I'm here, I will certainly come down. Uh, I mean, people ask for me uh, from time to time. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm always available if I'm available. E-Honda versus Elephant 8. Hmm. Uh, that's a tough question. I like the fact that the E-Hondas are E-Honda, you know, stylized as a Street Fighter fan. So if you're a Street Fighter fan, I would say E-Honda. But if you're maybe not as much of a Street Fighter lover as I am, then the Elephant 8. Yeah, I think you know all that extra detail you get with e Honda makes it that much more special, but it, it's only special if it matters to you. Uh, if it doesn't matter to you, then the Elephant 8, I think, would be a, a suitable choice. Is there any other black heavyweight denim coming out soon? Yes. This year. 
I believe you have no wash vulgar selvage from Reddit. You've got to get his Frankensteins. Yes, I do have to get his Frankensteins. Th it's the same guy. That he's posted images of those Frankensteins. They're unbelievable. They're they're. I would say he's he is. The Michael Jordan of gene fading. Uh, NYC exclusive anytime soon. When's the next visit? Um, I was in New York a week ago. Um, and the exclusive is being worked on. So we are working with some comic book artists to do a custom leather patch. So we, the idea, oh, of course, I'm gonna, you guys get all the idea. You get all the, the, the scoop. Here's the scoop. What's that guy? Philip Solo. If you, anyway, he's a, he's a funny uh, YouTuber. I watch him. He's funny. Um, what am I talking about? You guys get the inside scoop. So. Uh, Nick and Famous Denim New York will have an exclusive jean only available at New York. You won't be able to buy it on Tati and Yoko. You won't be able to buy it online. You gotta go to New York to get it. So the idea is to have a very New York uh, branded uh, uh, and themed jean. We are working with some very talented comic book artists to uh, create a new logo version of our, of our tragic blonde. Uh, and the idea is to have it like Statue of Liberty style. Um, the fabric we are working on, it will be a very, uh, uh, you know, red, white, and blue America themed. So, uh, expect that this year. And, uh, I'm looking forward to it because having an exclusive gene at New York has, has been something I wanted to do since day one. It's just, you know, we have so many projects going on that sometimes things get pushed and pushed and pushed. And anyways, when this comes out, I can finally check that one off the list and be happy that we have it uh, ready to go. Black MIJ. One day. Yes. Any sample fate of the chestnut dye jeans? No. And uh, the reason is because the sample we had of the chestnut denim, um, unfortunately, wasn't made properly. It, the warp was correct, but the weft wasn't dyed with the, with the chestnut uh, color, uh, with the chestnut dye. So, I mean, texturally, the jean was correct, but the color wasn't incorrect. So when we sent our samples out to get processed, I couldn't send that one because even if we processed it, it wouldn't look the way that the final production of that gene would have looked. So I don't have that yet. I'm waiting for you guys to beat that one up. Are the Hanamis on Tati and Yoko the final product? On Tati and Yoko, the one with the brown leather patch, I think you might have seen the one with the pink leather patch. That is not the final product. The brown leather patch is the proper product. We're, some images, like I said, between sampling and final production, um, there are changes, but when we're doing our photography in studio, we have only the samples to work with because the final production hasn't come in and you know, we want to have those up on the website so people can kind of see what's happening or what's coming out. Um, so sometimes we have the incorrect image up and then we replace it with the correct image before it is ready to go out for retail. Are the, um, cells underrated? No, I, I, I would say not at all. There's actually a great photo I put on Instagram stories of a guy wearing the cell jeans and you have that bright green weft you know, just really popping off. I, I really like that jean. Uh, what are the next Frankensteins going to be like? Um, the next Frankensteins, I mean, the, the, the Toxic Avenger is very close. I mean, it, it's a similar fabric, but this is a triple alternating twill. Uh, instead of the, the left hand twill, right hand twill. Metal Gear Solid uh, collaboration, maybe? Uh, maybe one day. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I have what, Metal Gear 5. I, ne I never got through it. I just I played like three hours and that was kind of it for me. Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear 1, I played the crap out of and Metal Gear 4. Metal Gear 3, I just... I just never got around to playing that one a lot. I'm a, I'm a pretty, I would say I'm a pretty big Metal Gear fan, but I think there are, there are bigger Metal Gear fans than I am. Can you talk about the True Grit? Um, I can talk about the True Grit. I'm not wearing them today, as you can see. Um, let me bring out a pair. So I got them right here. Check them out. <coughs> so, <clears throat> this is the True Grit Selvage. 
what I really like about this fabric is the warm tone of this denim. And the way we're able to achieve that is with a natural brown cotton weft. And this isn't a brown dyed weft. It isn't oh, cotton that would- 10 seconds Oh left. shoot, we gotta go. So anyways, I'll do this one next week. Thanks so much for watching me. I'll see you guys. Uh, actually, the YouTube version is gonna keep going because we got time on that. But uh, if you're watching on Instagram, I'll see you guys later and we're out. But we're still here on YouTube. Uh, so thanks so much for sticking around. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're sticking around actually a few seconds. So uh, I'm gonna go over the True Grit, uh, show you all the details here. Uh, so we get a close up of this denim. You're gonna see that it's a, a dark indigo warm tone denim. And that warm tone comes from the natural brown cotton weft. And this is actually quite rare because Cotton tends to be of the, you know, it's a little bit more ivory and a little bit more yellow in tone. Natural brown cotton is a little bit more rare. And what's very special about this fabric also is that if we were to ever reproduce this fabric, we can't reproduce the tone because the tone of the brown cotton changes depending on when it's cultivated. So this batch will never be the same as another batch. Uh, so that's one reason I really like this fabric because whenever you get it, that's the color you get and that's it. And uh, the warm tone denim, I think, really appeals to, you know, pairing it up with, with boots. I wear actually with a, lot of, uh, with a lot of sneakers. You can see it's got a great hairiness to it as well. And, uh, to, you know, to add to that hairiness, we do have the hair on hide leather patch. And this will, over time, these little hairs will fall out. And then you'll see uh, just the uh, kind of imprint of the Naked and Famous denim uh, uh, logo. So this is coming out in a couple of weeks. And... Uh, it's the jeans that I've been wearing since the summer. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'm gonna conclude there. I think one hour, uh, if you've watched this whole video, you're a real trooper. Uh, if you haven't watched this video, you've been skipping around, that's okay. I know I've talked about a lot of things and sometimes I just ramble on and forget what I'm talking about, but that's just the way I am. Uh, anyhow, thanks so much. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do the, the usual like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Get me to 10,000 subscribers. I'm almost halfway there. Uh, and once I'm at 10,000, I get access to uh, the YouTube studio, which uh, I would really like to start sipping free YouTube coffee uh, one day. So uh, get me there and I, I would really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you wanna be in contact with me, hit me up on the Instagram. If you wanna be in contact with Garrett, the cameraman, you should flip that camera around. You should say hi, you've been working really hard here, Garrett. Hey guys. Hi. So that's Garrett, that's our manager at Tate and Yoko. So uh, if you wanna be in contact with him, hit him up on the Instagram at Tate and Yoko, or you can hit him up on his personal Instagram, wizard32 ounce denim. Uh, you can find me, uh, you know, right here on the Naked and Famous Instagram. I try to respond to everybody, but I get a lot of random messages. So uh, sometimes I get lost in the DMs. Um, of course, I'm always here on Fridays and uh, I'm on Reddit. You can find me on Discord, uh, or if you wanna follow me on my uh, Instagram that I don't update at all, uh, you can just look for Bayzad T. Uh, that's my first name and T, Trino is my last name. And uh, I'll see you guys maybe next week, it depends, because I arrive back in Montreal next Friday, 7 a.m. off a of red eye, and I don't know if I will come into the office that day or not, or if I will be a zombie. So if not, maybe you'll see Garrett doing a live stream. Uh, if, you, if you like that idea, then like this video, or just like it in general, because I think that does something for us, but I'm not really sure. Um, so I guess I'm rambling on again. See you guys. Thanks for tuning in.